chance of surviving. So why aren't doctors and insurance providers encouraging women to get a mammogram? Stephanie Boswell is here now with the story. Well, that's a question that at least one New Orleans woman is asking tonight, and it's because of her tragic story that she wants uh, women and other women to know the legal right to get a mammogram. We tell you her story in tonight's Six on Your Side report. In March of 1992, Jean Berthelot and Howard Loeb gave birth to Elliot, who's now five and a half. Yeah, keep him apart. Uh, okay. Well, not right now. Several months after the delivery, Jean went to her gynecologist for a well woman's checkup. She recommended that I have a mammogram, and she told me that was standard care. So naturally, I had to go through the primary care physician because I am um, with an HMO. When Jean went to her physician to discuss getting her first mammogram, she says she was met with a shocking response. Then he said, have you looked at today's paper? And I said, well, no, sir. And he said, well, it says that you do not get a mammogram until you're 40 years old. Almost four months later, Jean felt a lump in her left breast. This time, her physician approved the mammogram. He said, um, I have bad news. Um, you do have cancer and you have to see a surgeon immediately. And he told me that he was sorry, that um, he wished that it had not been this way. So I had Elliot in my arms, a um, 15 month old baby, and I just, you know, went to the car and cried. I uh, was given six months to live without surgery. I was given six months to live after surgery. That's how bad it was. I couldn't believe that I was at death's door because somebody didn't want to pay for a mammogram. Attorney Robert Preston says Jean Berthelot is not alone. It used to be that a doctor and a physician's group could make more money by providing more care and more tests. That has changed to a managed care system that can make more money by denying care and denying tests. Take your mom out. Put this hand on your hip. The only way an insurance company covers the cost of a mammogram is if a woman's primary care physician recommends the mammogram. If an insurance company refuses the coverage or if the doctor fails to recommend the procedure, Preston claims they are breaking the law. According to the Louisiana Medicaid law, women ages 35 to 39 are allowed one baseline mammogram a year. Women ages 40 to 49 are allowed one mammogram every two years. And for women 50 or older, one mammogram every 12 months. Under the federal Medicare law, a woman under the age of 50 is allowed a mammogram. However, there's some confusion because the National Cancer Institute suggests women under 50 don't need a mammogram. So in essence, the federal government was publishing guidelines that were not only contrary to the federal Medicare law, they were contrary to the Louisiana Medicaid law, the Louisiana Insurance and HMO law, and the Insurance and HMO laws of approximately 40 other states. Preston says patients and even some doctors don't know the patient's legal rights when it comes to mammograms. Preston says it's because of advertisements like this, encouraging women to get a mammogram only if they're 50 or older or if there is a family history of breast cancer. Women are dying every day. Jean Berthelot is suing the insurance company, Travelers Insurance, for what she calls a delayed diagnosis, a delay that may cost her precious time with her son. I want him to have joy right now yeah. um, just in case that's what he has to remember the good times the good times yeah travelers has since been purchased by united healthcare of louisiana the company wouldn't comment on the specifics of this case but in a written statement told channel six that united healthcare covers the cost of mammography regardless of a member's age and the company believes in the value of preventive care and strongly encourages its members to utilize their mammography benefits as a valuable tool in the early detection of breast cancer. Preston says through his lawsuit, which he plans to get class action certification for, 
He wants women to learn it's their legal right to get a mammogram, something that Jean Berthelot didn't find out about in time. Well, she has a five-year-old and I have a six-year-old, and I often think that. Every day, uh, she has to get up and know that this may be her last day. And that, that's a powerful message for me. Now, Jean's cancer is in remission, but she's not out of the clear just yet. If you are like Jean and not aware of your insurance coverage for mammograms, you can contact the insurance commissioner's office, and that number is 1-800-259-5300. And you can also call the Six on Your Side hotline at 1-800-416-NEWS. That's 1-800-416-6397. You can see how a lot of women would be confused and not know when to get one or when they should ask a doctor. And that's why we did the story, to tell them what their legal rights are. Good one. Very sobering report.